The trouble is temporary, but the glory is permanent. The key is for you and I not to stay focused on the suffering, but for us to stay focused on what is about to come. And with that, I welcome you to another edition of Minutes with Rejoy Suwezen. If you are new to this channel, you need to subscribe. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so very much. And sit back and enjoy. God bless you. Life is full of things that try to push us down. We all face setbacks, we all face disappointments, and we need to know that it is very, very easy for us to get discouraged. It is very easy for us to lose enthusiasm, and it is even very easy for us to get tempted to settle where we are. But if we are going to see God's best, that we need to have the bounce back mentality. And that means when we get knocked down, you don't stay down, you get up again. That is the bounce back mentality. When you get knocked down, you bounce back again. You have to know that for every time adversity comes against you, it is a setup for a comeback. If you stay in faith, then God is going to turn what was meant to be a stumbling block into a stepping stone for you. And you will move forward in strength, in victory. It is very easy to get frustrated or feel discouraged during difficulties. And then we begin to think that this is how it is going to be forever. But you need to know that our God is a God of total restoration. He has promised to pay us back for the wrongs, for whatever situation that we find ourselves into. In Psalm 71, the psalmist says to God, You have allowed me to suffer much hardship, but you will restore me to even greater honor. The suffering that we are passing through now is a setup for our comeback. God allowed the difficulty not to make you miserable, not to make you feel frustrated, not to make you um, depressed, but he allowed it so that he can restore your honor and your glory. God never brings us out of the mess the same way. There is always a change. So for each time you find yourself in any problem, in any difficulty, know this, that you are not coming out the same way you went in. There is always a huge change. And do you know what one thing that God does that baffles me? He makes the devil pay back in seven folds. When you find yourself in some certain situations, when you find yourself in difficulty, always remind yourself that this is not the end of the story. He can't blow the whistle against you. This can't be the end of the story. It cannot be the end of the story. So you have to constantly remind yourself that it is just it is just a phase and it was certainly passed away and when it passes away i am going to bounce back i am not bouncing back the same way i went in i am bouncing back better stronger more beautiful full of faith the more i want to tell you this the loneliness the bad breakup the anxiety that is not your destiny so what Whatever situation you find yourself in today, that is not your destiny. That is just a stepping stone for you to get to where God wants you to get to. Greater joy is coming. Greater glory is coming. Greater favor is coming. Greater relationship is coming. Greater opportunities are coming. You constantly need to put yourself, to remind yourself that it is going to be greater. It is not what it's not about what I'm, I'm, I'm passing through now. It is just a setup for me to come back greater and bigger. The enemy brought the trials, the situations, the trouble, whatever you might be passing through right now for a setback. But he didn't realize that God is setting you up for God to show out himself in your life. 
the situation you're passing through right now, the trials, the temptation, whatever you're passing through right now, the devil meant it for a hand. But God is going to switch it. God is going to switch it to your advantage. So hush up. Keep pushing. Keep trusting. Keep believing him that he is going to turn this to your advantage. When you are in difficulties, always keep this phrase in the back of your mind that the greater is coming. The greater is coming. God did not bring me this far for him to leave me. So the greater is coming and God did not bring me this far for him just to leave me in the middle of the road. No, nah, -uh. that, that, that is not the God I serve. He wouldn't have allowed it to come. He wouldn't have allowed the situations to come, the trials, the temptations to come, if it was going to keep you or deprive you from getting to your destination in life. It is just the opposite and it is going to launch you. It will certainly launch you to your destiny in life if you keep holding on. The Apostle Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and external weight of glory. The trouble is temporary. It may be tough right now. Life has dealt you an unfair hand. The suffering is not in vain. It is serving a purpose. It is leading you to a greater honor, greater favor, greater victory. Don't be quick to forget that. It is setting you up for a comeback. When you are in tough time, you either talk about how big the problem is or you talk about how big your God is. There are two different sets of people. The first person goes and exaggerates or talks about how big the issue is. And then the other person, trusting the God that he serves, talks about how big and how well able God will take him out of the situation he is presently into. So which of the two are you? Are you the type that talk about the problem, how big the problem is? Or are you the type that talk about how big and how powerful your God is to set you out from whatever situation you are passing through at the moment? If you are going to see greatness in the middle of difficulties, if you're going to see the impossible turn to possible in the middle of difficulties, then you have to start declaring, oh, the greater is coming. I am not going to end here. My story doesn't end here. I'm going to get to the next chapter of my life. So this chapter is not the last chapter. I am getting to the next chapter of my life. And the next chapter is greater than this chapter I find myself presently into. God has already arranged a comeback for every setback, a vindication for every wrong, a new beginning for every disappointment. You may have gotten off to a rough start in life, but it is not how you start that matters, but it is how you finish that matter. I have a word for you. Your setback is not God setting you aside. Your setback is not God setting you down. Your setback is God setting you up for a comeback. That is what a setback is going to do for you if you believe in the capacity, if you believe that your God is able to pull you out of the setback for you to get to where he wants you to get to. Now is the time for your comeback to begin. Your failure is not final. Your failure is not fatal. But if you will let God, he will use your failure to fuel your future. And you need to know your future is wrapped up in how you respond to your failure. So be very, very careful what you do when you pass through some certain situations in life because it will trigger how your future will be. It's going to show how you will get off in life. Mind the things you say. Speak right. 
know that God can bring you this far for him to just leave you in the middle of the road. Your mess can become a message. That test you're passing through right now can become your testimony. It all depends on how you take the setback that you face in life. You see, God invests so much in you when you are low. Do you know why? Because he can get greater return when you rise. So for that setback you are passing through right now, God is going to trigger a comeback. No matter how tough it might be, no matter how dark the cloud is right now, don't forget that the sun is going to shine again. That storm you think you're, you're passing through right now, God is going to make you come out victorious. God is going to make you come out better, stronger than you used to be. So no matter what you pass through right now, no matter what the situation might be right now, I know someone else might be telling me, Sister Rejoice, I lost a loved one. Someone might be telling, telling me I, I had a bad breakup. Someone might be telling me I'm depressed, I'm that. I totally understand but can I tell you something that situation you're passing through right now is for a comeback God is gonna come and he's gonna turn it around for your good so my advice for me to you is hold on tight please don't give up please cheer up because God is going to turn that situation for your good, gonna turn it to your own advantage. So hold on tight, knowing fully well that God is gonna turn that situation around for you. And for every setback you're passing through right now, it's gonna be a comeback. I love you and I want you to keep trusting and keep believing God that it is not the end of the road for me. That's gonna be a next, and when it comes to the next, Oh, I'm going to shine in my next chapter. Please don't judge me in my present situation right now because I'm going to bounce back. I'm going to shine again. God bless you and thank you so very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're yet to, and also comment. I love you so very much. Thank you so very much. And God bless you.